Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to share with you another PSP lot that I purchased here locally. And I did win some auctions online, which we'll take a look at here. Uh, these are some PSP UMDs. So this is auction number one. And auction number two is this nice lot here, the games. And I don't have a receipt for this lot. Let's see. So this lot that I have in my hands, I purchased this for $36.96. So I won this auction at $19. Shipping was $10. Handling was $5. That's expensive. And tax was $2.50. So $36 bucks for this lot. And let's see what we got. So we got Aragorn's, Aragorn's Quest, Madden 07, Hot Shots Golf, Kingdom Paradise. Let's open this up here and see what we got. Might as well open this too. Here are these. And we'll take a look at these real quick. So we got the Lord of the Rings, Aragorn's Quest. Game looks good. Very cool. We have the Italian job, brand new, sealed. Nice. We have Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition. And the UMD jeweling case, jewel case. The UMD jewel case needs to be repaired hopefully it works but it's complete and the cases are pretty smooth on some of these here is the devil's rejects the unrated version creepy movie kinda crazy and this has complete with the little manual and the UMD is in good shape as most UMD movies should be. Uh, we have Open Season, the UMD video. No manual or any type of paperwork inside. Here is Open Season, UMD video. There is no manual, and the disc is in really good condition. Nice. Here is Need for Speed, Most Wanted 510. Wow, look at the price on that. Originally 45 bucks. Where was this at? Huh. What is that, GameStop? Returnable with what? Within something days, 30 days maybe. Complete with the manual, but the casing needs to be replaced. So that's two casings. Next we have Kingdom of Paradise. Never heard of this game before. Very cool artwork, no manual, and this needs to be repaired too. Dang. Next we have Hot Shots Golf, the greatest hits. And we got, what's this? Hmm. Wait, this is not Hot Shots Golf. This is uh, Patapon. I actually prefer that than Hot Shots Golf because this game's everywhere. And we have two Madden 07s, one brand new and one used. Looks in really great condition. Sweet. And now for this lot here. And first one we see is Pimp My Ride. I already have this in my collection. Pimp My Ride. Uh, let's set these down here. Pimp My Ride with the manual. And the game looks okay. It's a little dirty though. Next we have 
Tokobot. Never heard of this. And it looks imported, but it's not. Right? It looks, yeah, it looks like it, but it's not. Manual and game complete. Very good. Next, we have Need for, Su Need for Speed Pro Street. I can't pronounce that. Complete with manual and disc. So with all these games together, I, I think I paid 60 bucks for this lot together. Two different auctions, uh, including shipping. FIFA Soccer 11. I'll be definitely getting that over to my PSP. We have Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. Oh, it's the original trilogy. Interesting. So all three games, huh? Build and battle through the original trilogy. Episodes... Five, six, and seven. And very good condition. Complete with the manual. Really nice casing here. Not a lot of scratches. Then we have this one. Practical Intelligence Quotient 2. P2. What the, what the heck is this all about? Very good condition. And the reason why I bought this lot was because of these two games. They just look so interesting and different. And not, nothing that I'm used to. Next up we have Midway Arcade Treasures Extended Play. Featuring Mortal Kombat, Joust Defender, and more. Nice. So we have the manual. Oh, what's in here? It's like some extra stuff inside the manual. And the disc is really dirty. A lot of fingerprints. And the, wait, what? What the hell is this? Tupac? Live at the house of what? I can't read that. Death Row Records. Dude, what the? This is not Tupac. Or this is not Midway Games. Midway Arcade Treasures. That's lame. Got ripped off. Here's Thrillville Off the Rails, one of my favorites on the PSP. And this is complete. And the game is looking nice. All right. So that is a total of 18 PSP games and movies mixture. And now moving on to this lot that I purchased locally for eighty dollars originally i found this on craigslist for 120 and the guy he was really nice he's like hey the battery is really bad so can you take it for 80 i'm like sure i'll take it for 80 no problem and here it is we have a psp console in this weird looking case um so here's the PSP controller for your headphones. Nice, used, bit yellow. <laughs> Little yellow. And let's see here. What's inside this pocket? Nothing. Making sure we don't miss out on anything. And the console is right here. He's letting me know that this was... Uh, he, he inherited this stuff from his cousin so he was just trying to get rid of it and this thing is in immaculate condition there's hardly any scratches on it it's in excellent condition very hard to pick up on the screen and here's the back wow even the ring has like barely any scratches on it beautiful piece here oh and there's a game inside which is coated arms and let's see what kind of battery he has the original battery pack easy to replace let's check out the memory and he has a memory stick pro duo 256 megabytes from sandisk cool i don't think this thing is going to power on 
Yeah, he said that uh, it does power on, but the battery just dies right away, even after he let it charge for a couple hours. So we're gonna have to change that beautiful piece, and let's just throw it back into this casing because it does have some nice protection in it. So we'll just do that. There we go. And here are all of the games included. Let's just take them out here. Let's see what we got. Here's the original charger. This is actually this is not an original charger. This is a aftermarket charger by Instin. Look at that, another Hot Shots Golf. And this is not complete, so that's missing the disc. Ooh, look at this one. Capcom Classic Collection Reloaded. That's one I've been wanting for a long time now. And this is the Games and Go. I guess this is a weird pre-owned um, case here. Let me put these down. For 15 bucks for this. Oh, it felt so light. This is not an original... This doesn't feel like an original UMD case. It feels really cheap and flim flimsy. That disc is really scratched up. But hopefully it works. Not a big fan of these uh, custom artwork or whatever. This is really tacky. I hate when uh, these local stores do that. So that's really lame. Uh, here we got the Pirates of the Caribbean UMD video. Not a big fan of these movies. Um, that's ruined. I have to fix that. Ah, the day after tomorrow. Fun movie to watch. And yep, that's <laughs> that's gonna be. A problem so we're gonna just leave that alone and repair it later moving on to the next batch we have eight escape on the loose you have the manual and the game jewel casing needs to be replaced too so lame the spongebob squarepants movie and yep yeah, this needs to be repaired too <laughs> Wow, a lot of these need to be repaired. Uh, Transporter 2, a transporter. 2, another messed up casing or case. Ooh, Metal Gear Acid, what? That's cool. Konami. Oh, I'm so glad it's in here. Beautiful artwork there, the reverse cover. Artwork, nice. And oh no, it needs to be repaired. God, I gotta get some in. There's so many discs that I need to repair, so I will have to purchase some of those. But just glad to have it, and hopefully it works. And moving on to the next four. We have eight more games. We have Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops. And this does not have the manual, but the game is in okay condition. Bunch of scratches, but the case is still holding up. Moving on to Street 3, NFL Street. I, I've always liked these street games. Uh, the NFL, the, uh, the basketball, and the soccer. They're so much fun. I think they're better than the original Madden games and stuff like that. It, I don't know, it's just more goofier. Do more tricks and stuff, it's kind of fun. Yeah, this is going to be a good one to have. Then we have Infected. What the? What is this? Like a... Like a zombie? Oh, what? Trivium. It's one of my favorite bands. What is this? Roadrunner United All-Star Sessions. We have... Trivium... Wow, Slipknot. Yeah, buddy. And this disc is okay. Probably need to replace it. 
There's a crack on the back. Is this another one? So I have reloaded and remixed. Hmm. Is this from the same Games and Go? These guys are old. I used to go to this one here in Brooklyn Park because that's where I used to live. Um, this was the address to their Games and Go store. And yeah, that needs to be replaced, unfortunately. But it's okay. We can fix that. And well, I guess we have six more games. We have NHL Gretzky. Manual and disc complete. I already have this one. We have Lord of War. Never watched this before. Oh, that's completely trashed. Just going to leave it alone. Death Jr. What the heck? Never seen this game before. Yep, need to repair that too. We'll probably do another video on how to do that. Okay. And Tony Hawk's Underground 2 Remix. Popular. Damn it, it's not it. <laughs> it's Spider-Man 2. From the PSP 1000 bundle. Heavily scratched. And let's see what's inside this box here. This is what's left in this bag. And we have a Mario 64 operation card. Hmm, maybe this will bring some value to someone. Sell it on eBay. We have Fear Effect. PlayStation Manual. Okay, very random. And we have this Nintendo Club with the code on it, which probably doesn't work anymore. There's Hot Shots Golf. And NBL 08, the show. So there you go, guys. That is what I recently picked up and received through the mail. So not bad. Paid 80 for this over here. Another 60 over here. So less than 150 for all this is not bad at all. And hopefully we can uh, get some more in the future. And just fix all these UMD discs. There's just too many of them. I may have to order like 100 of them. And probably make a video about it. And just show you how it's done again for 2021. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.